everybody. My name is Kof Pekirutin and I'm the director of the Finnish Games Industry Organization, Neo Games. And Neo Games has been around like eight years now. We were established in 2003 and we have been operational since, since then. And what we are doing basically, we are offering or trying to uh, build up the uh, best possible environment for the Finnish games industry and game companies to operate. And in order to do that, we have been doing quite a lot of studies of the games industry. We take care of the statistics of the games industry in Finland. We have been, uh, we have been arranging different kind of trade missions during, I think that's something like 35, 40 different trade missions during these years. And we have been giving some startup consultation for the startup companies and I think that the most important thing in our is the Finnish games industry all the way there. Every once in a while you can name your files like that, you can actually find them. Usually, you know. Uh, we have given, uh, been given, given a start consultation and we have also been very active, active with, with, with the games education because at this moment the situation in Finland is that we have a lot of companies 70 plus is number from like a year ago in, in, in March 2011. Now the number is actually, if you be consider all the startups, startups also as companies, it's like 100 companies. Which basically means that, well, we have to be active with the business education because we are running out of people. At the moment, at the moment we are in a situation that, let's see if I can use this one. The industry is employing or was employing 1,300 people in the core of the industry, meaning yeah, in the game development and those companies providing game services. I think that now the number is like 1,400, uh, 1,450, and we consider that we need something like 150 employees more before the end of the year. So you see that there is a lot of, lot of need for, for skilled people inside the games industry, which means that there is a lot of need for games education in the field. And for that reason, it's, it's very good thing that, that also Aalto has, uh, has uh, uh, taken it seriously and, and, and there is new game education beginning here in Aalto also. Of course, it doesn't affect until a couple of years, but okay, it's better later than sooner. Okay, one of the misconceptions of the games industry, or I don't know if it's a misconception, but one of the things which usually is asked from me is that, okay, there is, this is the industry, there is only guys in this industry, there is only boys, no females at all. Well, we don't have so many females in the games industry, but actually, we made a little calculation when we last made the study, we found out that the number is actually quite high compared to the some of the other Western game development countries. Sixteen point four four percent of all employees working in the games industry are females, and I think that because of the startup boom and because uh, because of, of the growth of the industry and because we have larger companies than we used to have before, also larger companies, the number of the females is going to rise in this year and in, in the coming years. So there is no need for, for anybody to be too scared of uh, well, that, that there is no that there is only guys in this game industry. Seventy plus is the base of the business games industry. How do we calculate it? Well it's a little bit complicated. But the first Finnish commercial game was made in nineteen hundred and eighty six. I don't know if many of you were in four back then yet, but uh, we calculate the age of the Finnish games industry from the from the establishment, establishment of the oldest still existing companies. The two, the two of the oldest still existing companies are Remedy, uh, everybody knows Remedy, you know something about the games industry, and Housemark. So we are, in a sense, we are relatively young industry, we don't have this kind of uh, old industry structures, which also means that Games industry is quite flexible, and we are still developing with very fast pace. 
if you think about the games industry in Finland and if you think about the money involved in the games industry, our estimate was that last year, 2011, the turnover of the industry was 165 million euros. I think that the actual turnover, when we actually get to the figures and when we actually get to get the sums, is probably even 10% higher, and, and which means that turnover of the industry last year was something like 180,000, 180 million euros. If we uh, add up all the all the investments made to the games industry in Finland last year, and also some purchases and acquisitions like when Disney bought acquired Rocket Pack and when Ubisoft acquired Red Links, I think that the money in the Finnish games industry involved in the Finnish gaming industry was around quarter million billion euros last year. Which basically means that okay we are still very small if we compare if we compare games industry or the pulp or industry pulp industry or forestry or or this kind of old industries but we are growing very fast. So we are growing really fast and actually if you think about the growth rate, and if you think about what the growth rate has been, compound annual growth rate of the Finnish games industry has been 22 persons between 2004 and 2011, which is hyper growth, meaning that okay, we are small, but we are growing, growing, growing very, very fast, and one of these days we are going to be the big industry. We are already the biggest industry in between. If we think about the exports, 90% of the, of the of the income of the or turnover of the Finnish industry comes from comes from exports. So we are already way bigger in exports than, for instance, music industry or film industry or TV industry or any other kind of industry. So in that sense, we have grown very significant industry very fast. As I mentioned, there is also some investment made in Finnish games industry <coughs> last year. Uh, the total amount, I don't know all the numbers exactly because in some cases the companies don't tell the, the exact numbers, but our estimate or is that around 60 million dollars were invested in Finnish games industry last year alone. And uh, this year is going to be good if we think about the, the number of investments. Is, is going to be this year is going to be bigger than I mean, it was last year. But the value of the investment is maybe a little bit smaller because the investment <coughs> investments are, are smaller, but they are targeting to several companies. About the 60 million dollars, around 40 million was investment was which was received by probably. And there is 12 million to Supercell and 2 million to Grey Area Labs and things like that. But this year we are going to have more investments, but they are good. Okay, where are we heading at? Our estimate is that in 2000, uh, 2020, like eight years from now, this industry is employing around 6,500 people. And it's very brave goal. We should basically, uh, it's basically four times more than we are employed at the moment. But I think that if we can get everything done properly, if we can get the education to good condition, if we can keep the investment flowing to the Finnish games industry, if we can uh, develop our technology skills, but also uh, also other skills in this area. It's quite doable goal for, for us. And in order to do that, we of course need each and every one of you to contribute your part of it. Okay, but I don't know, I was focusing too fast, like 10 minutes, but do you have something to ask?